Hey everyone, I'm Becky. And I'm Sarah. And we're doing Bickering Book Reviews. Today we are talking about We Are the Wildcats by Siobhan Vivian, which I got off of Edelweiss. And so even though it's probably obvious, we should probably mention that Sarah and I are social distancing right now. You're so far away. You are so far away. Everybody's so far away. I can't see anybody ever. I know. I'm kind of okay with this. And, <laughs> when I am, like, so, like, neurotic about things, like, I am following everything to, like, the 10th degree. Like, it's, like... So I've stopped watching the um, any of the news conferences because I know as soon as something big comes out, I'll get a whole text message group chain from, like, you <laughs> and all of our... For me, for me, I'll be like, okay, here's what's happening. CDC says... <laughs> I'm like, I don't really even need to watch the governor yeah. <laughs> or whoever. Right. Well, I don't know about how other health departments are doing it, but where we are, they update it every day at 2 o'clock. So, like, 2 o'clock I'm on there, and I'm like, okay, so many cases. This is how many people have been hospitalized. This is how many people have there. Yeah. So, um, it's all part of the control. But anyway, so we're yeah. talking about We Are the Wildcats by Siobhan Vivian. And so here we go. So this book is about the girls' field hockey team, the Wildcats. And tomorrow is the first game for the Wildcats. But tonight, the girls are going to fulfill a tradition. The night before the first game of the season, the team has a sleepover that will help them bond. Where all the new team players start to interact with the old team players. Um, however, this year's team is going to be different. The girls will spend the night running around town while they learn the truth about themselves and the coach. That's very vague. I don't know. It's hard to describe this book. So basically, yeah, like they have this big party and they're supposed to have this jersey reveal where everybody gets their new jersey, but the coach basically didn't give them the jerseys. And so they feel like they have to go on this mission to prove themselves. And as they try to prove themselves, they kind of learn about who they really are and like who their coach is. I think, and that was kind of, when you're talking about what this book about is really what hit on my concerns for the book as I was reading it, because it, it really just discusses essentially 24 hours. And I'm like, how can anything, like the way that it's set up and framed, I couldn't figure out how anything could happen. Like that so, dress in 24 hours. And it got there, but like, it really like. It was a lot of work to get there. Yeah. It wasn't a lot I of like those 24 hour books. Like I like those books where it's like they go out on the, like they spend a whole night, like having an adventure. I like that. But the thing, there's oh, I, I love those, but something about this book just didn't work for me. And I, I think that's horrible. Like the way that this was framed and what they were doing just didn't seem high energy, um, high energy plot movement enough to make it feel like it should be as long as it was. Well, and I had a hard time. I couldn't keep all the girls straight. There are a lot of characters. See, and I didn't have a problem with that, actually. Like, the more I reflect on it, no, I, I, I could keep them straight. Plus, there's a lot about field hockey, and I know nothing about field hockey. And so those parts were lost on me. So what I think, related to the field hockey, it felt very like Texas football. Like, yeah. they kind of fill that football range. And I feel like you don't see that anywhere ever where a girls team is given that um, to, is able to fill that space. And I thought that was really cool. And in framing it like that though, I don't know anything about football either. So I, I guess it was, it was just more just like it was a sport book and I don't know much about sports. So I was kind of okay with it. It was just about like what they were doing. However, those last 50 pages were, awesome like they made me love this book so much because I like what happened there and like but I don't know if it's acceptable to really love a book based on the last 50 pages well you can love a book for any other any reason you want well and that's the thing like that's my mixed reaction to this book because like the overarching message like once you get to and maybe if I went back and read it again it would be better and I feel like it's safe to say that there's a discussion in this book about, like, the control coaches have and the power these coaches have over these girls. And I think, and, like, the insidious nature of that, and I think that's an important message, particularly with what we've found coming out of the Olympics and college sports. So I think like, that's a really important message, but it just took a lot of work to get to that message. 
because a, a lot of it was you knew what was happening, but nobody would spell it out. And you're like, can we just like, can we just talk about it? Right. I get there because the thing and th that was the funny thing because this is the second book that we read in this round of our reviews that was the teacher student trope that because even though he's a coach he's still kind of fulfills that teacher he has he has power over them yeah plus he was a teacher he was their teacher and, I was, and like like I've said in the past and like I'll continue to say that trope is one of the ones that definitely like triggers me and I typically don't like them so and I think that it was already that kind of my personal feelings related to that is definitely worked against this book however those last chapters were like I, I kind of wish the whole book was that last chapter those last chapters and it might have been interesting to kind of cut some of the stuff before it and extend it out further right like the end because, because I think the final that, resolution is kind of fast it is. It's empowering. It's awesome. It's interesting. And I kind of wish we could spend more time there. So we should rate it. Okay. So our rating system starts at the top with five unicorns. We're on two unicorns. If we don't like it, it's a horse. I really like the ending. I'm giving it a four. I like the ending so much. I'm at a I three it. because it was hard to get there, but I did like the message and the ending. So what's funny is the other book we talked about, Rules for Being a Girl, I liked that better than this, and you like this better than that. Yeah. So. I don't know, like, cause I like the other one, I, the rules for being a girl, I like that as well. And I, I like, overall, I like that one better, but I think I really liked the ending to this, that that's why it bumps it up. Well, so that is where we are on We Are the Wildcats, and we'll see you around. All right, see ya. Bye.